I met this great guy. I met this great guy. And, uh, his name is Steve. Um, he works for the NWACP. Um, he's also uh, an activist in the community, um, the Cab County. He's been going around touring, trying to get the word out about how to affect, how to be an effective mentor. How can we change, have an impact on our students, on our kids, as these youth, the youth. How can I, how can we make changes? So tonight I want to introduce this guy who's coming around. Um, he wants to let you know how he, he, you can make change in your community. So welcome to the stage, team. I play the cajon. That's all I know. I'm not a mentor. But what I am here for is I'm going to talk to Steve and we're going to find out all we can from whatever knowledge you have. Uh, let's put um. Hello. Say hello, Steve. How you doing? Hello, how are you doing? Everyone good? Yes, sir. You can talk back. You can talk Woo! back. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a family affair, right? S-T-E-E. Yay, Steve. Thanks for having me. Thanks for having me. So you play the xylophone? I've been there. I will. <laughs> All right. So this in front of me. That's right. That's right. So um, I want to ask you, because... You say mentor, I've gotten so far in this campaign, all month we've been on Facebook, talking to people, uh, putting out the event, saying we're doing mentor awareness, mentor awareness. And one of the most, one of the most um, responses that I've gotten is, what is that? And so I decided to have somebody who may know a little bit more about that to answer that question. What is a mentor? Uh, and who can be one? Okay, so who is a... Uh what is a mentor and who can be one? Right. Well, there are lots of different types of mentoring relationships that you can have. Uh, they do have them in the workplace where one employee will mentor another okay. to kind of show them the ropes. To, if someone is new, they will bring them up to speed. Um, you have mentoring relationships between adults and children. Um, and so, the original mentor was somebody in ancient Greece who basically was a stand-in father for someone else. Oh. And so the concept has come a long way where now it means someone who is supporting someone, uh, someone else. Uh, they could be someone who is the same age as you or it could be a, a, a generation gap between you all, but basically someone who's supporting you another person, uh, helping them with information, helping them uh, uh, basically develop as a, as a person in wh whatever areas they choose to, to, to work in. Is there a, a, hey, how you doing? <laughs> All right, have a seat, you can sit right there. Okay. Come here for a minute, uh, little guy. All right. <laughs> CJ, everybody. <laughs> All right. So that's interesting. Uh, real quick, let me ask: the position of support, supporting somebody, do you need to be? And this is just for my own information. Say, um, I'm supporting you in what it is that you're doing, but I'm not adept in. You want to learn how to play the guitar, but I'm supporting you in it. Am I a mentor, or do you is basically meant to be specifically? the person who is teaching, the person who is showing you the way in that one thing, or can anybody be a surrogate mentor, someone who, who encourages you to do your, your your dream or whatever it is that you're doing? An encourager slash, I mean, as opposed to an, a mentor. Is there a difference? Well, there's a lot of overlap, I would say. I think that 
in the, in the case that you brought up, someone doesn't know the guitar very well, they can still support you in your journey in becoming a better guitar player. Uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be a relationship that's only about the guitar. You can you can be inventive and come up with creative ways to support that person in in their path. Okay. Let me ask you this, uh, how does one become a mentor, right? How, how do you choose a mentor? If you're not a part of an organization, we, we um, at Get the Word Out Foundation are partnering with a few different organizations that, that are providing mentors in the community. Uh, we can talk about that, but for someone else out there who says, well, I like the idea of mentoring. We're going to ask about why it's needed in just a second, but how can, how do you say become one? How do you choose a mentor? Even hey, you, I want to mentor you. What, what is what is the process like if you're trying to become a mentor to somebody? Well, typically, when people talk about having a mentor, a lot of times it is sort of a, an official mentoring relationship, or someone teams them up together. Okay. Someone creates that 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 relationship. So a lot of times it happens through organizations, which I strongly believe in. I think that we all need to be joining organizations. We have interests, so we should we should join organizations and and, and uh, assist organizations in doing it. That's that's one of that's one of the main ways to become a mentor to to join an organization. We also have organizations like the uh, Boys and Girls Club, uh, which. Right. That's one of the things that they focus on is teaming up uh, mentors and mentees. And so I would advocate for getting with organizations like that. Big brother, big sister? Yeah. Uh, that's still around, I remember that. Um, yes, I was a kid, around. I heard about that. Okay. And a lot of times the YMCA's will, and the YWCA's will, will have mentoring programs. It's definitely uh, something that, that is beneficial. And so I always would advocate for joining an organization. But on a more informal basis, you may have people in your family who you choose to take on a more active role in in, 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 in their development. Oh, also, I would advocate for that as well. If you have if you have friends who have children, I would advocate for assisting the assisting your friends in helping to raise the children. Maybe not necessarily babysitting, but take them, take the kids out for, for an hour so that you all can develop a stronger relationship. And uh, of course, this is, this is the type of thing that, you know, there is some, some caution that you want to take with that. But I personally believe that parents need the, the support of other people with their children. The community we raise the kid. Right. So if you, if you, a lot of times parents will feel like they are the sole influence on their child and what happens a lot of times is that they will, uh, your child will talk to someone else about the same things that you tell them every day uh -huh. and it, they'll have a greater impact on that child because it's someone different telling them that information. Just being a different person saying it could either reinforce what the parent is teaching or completely turn it turn it off. Not completely, but could could be a, a, a wedge in what the parents teach if they're teaching something if they're saying something different and the fact that they're different a different person saying. Uh, one more question about the Y like the YMCA, YWCA. Um, are there criteria? Say I want to go there and I say, you know, I heard you have a mentoring program. What do I need to do? Like, do I have to be certain education to do that? Or can anybody go there and say, hey, I'm good at this, I'd like to mentor somebody? Anybody can do it. Um, I think that um, you first want to search yourself and decide and, and know whether or not you have good intentions in, in, in mentoring. And um, uh, just know that you being able to to be a positive support to a child or to an adolescent, that that is that, that's something that's going to be beneficial to us. Okay, so uh, going to that, it's important. Why? Why? Why is mentoring important? That's another question I get. We've been doing this all month. Why is it important? Who needs it, and why is it important? 
I, I personally feel like we all need mentors. Okay, I'll take that. I'll take that. Amen. That's right. We all need mentors. Yes. And um, we, I heard once somewhere, I don't remember where it was, but the idea was that, that uh, if we are going to mentor someone, we also should have someone who's a mentor to us. And so being able to have uh, above and below relationships in terms of, of mentoring is, is a positive. I think it's just the way that, that we're set up as human beings. We are we're very social. We 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 need social relationships. Yeah. We need to be able to have good conversations with other people who support us. It's just a need that we have. And if someone is is older and wiser than you, or if they're more experienced than you, then it's something that's going to benefit you. Period. Right. Okay. So sp speaking on that, who was your mentor? Well, one of my mentors was uh, a professor that I had in college. He was a uh, he became the director of my program, and as soon as he got there, I kind of I looked up to him, and he took me under his wing and showed me a lot of. Um, he basically made me more interested in the field of education. He took me to an education conference wow. that uh, that basically solidified my uh, my journey to, uh, to become a, an educational researcher and an advocate for education. Um, so that was that was definitely a great experience for me. Someone who I didn't. I, I, I never really did anything special to earn um, th that relationship. It was just something that happened, and it was just sort of a, a grace sort of thing. It wasn't something special about me. Right. It was just that I was in the right place at the right time, and someone took an interest in, in me and, and in my development. And I find that to be awesome because I think what happens is when you get that, you pass it on. You pass that on, and I think you've done that. Uh, with me. I've known you for a long time and I can honestly say that just being who you are and this is this is what it goes down to I think when you were talking about finding someone in your family or finding a friend a friend who has children and being there for that person and raising them up the way the best way you can bring them to an outing and getting a strong relationship I believe we did that. We've known each other for a long time and what I do now is with Get The Word Out Foundation as well as with my music um, you may not know this, but you were a mentor to me. And so I think you can be a mentor to somebody. You don't have to have the qualification. You don't have to have the education. This was before you, know, before you went to college, I think. And uh, just those little things that you would do when we would play the guitar together, little times you would encourage me to read, because I didn't like to read, you encouraged me to read um, comic books. And it, and it, and it gained a love for reading. Those, those times when you when you would be out talking about things about activism, and I'd be like, "Oh man, I'm not sure if I like that." I've grown up to realize that those little things that you did mentored me and and helped me to become the person that I am. So I thank you for that, and I also say that not just for, not just to big up your head, fool, uh, <laughs> but I think what you were saying does make sense. And to anybody else who's watching this, who's listening. You can do it. You can be. You don't have to. If you don't want to join the Y, you're not. You don't think you're ready to be the official mentor. I believe you are, but you, you may not be. You can mentor. Even you probably are mentoring someone without knowing. It. You have to be watching what you're doing. You have to be careful in how you treat the children around you, the cousins around you, your friends around you, because they're watching you, and you don't know how many of them are following what it is that you're doing, good or bad. So it's interesting that you bring that up because it's been it's been uh, somewhat of a, uh, it's been gratifying for me to watch you mentor other people. So uh, thank you for that. Oh, wow, that's awesome. All right, and on that, and on that note, everybody, I, th I think we've covered, covered a lot. Um, anything else that you wanted to say, questions I didn't ask? Can't think of anything at the moment. Social impact. Say, say we, we, we raise awareness for mentoring today and it goes across the world that we start a, a big movement. What are the social changes you think, I mean, that, that could 
happen that we want to see? Why we're advocating for mentoring? Well, I think the word spark comes to mind. And if, if you have a mentoring relationship with someone and you're able to spark something in that person in the sense that, let's say you take them to a museum and they realize that there's something that they learned at that museum, something that they saw that gave them their focus in life. That is going to mean a lot. That could mean night and day for someone. So when, when we as human beings find out what our purpose is or what one of our purposes are, it's, it's a huge, it's a big deal. It's a big deal to find out what your purpose is. And if you're able to assist another human being in wow. finding out what their purpose is, wow. that means the world. Facts. Man, thank you so much, Steve. Steve Paris, everybody.